We were so amazed at the world they introduced to us, a world of hope and dreams. You see, these consultants were not only our tutors, but they were our friends, and most important, our role models. They became the image of another life that many young people in our community have never seen beyond the barriers of the West Side. There is crime, there are gangs and violence, but we have just learned to live and cope with it. We have learned to survive and hopefully not be swallowed up by the vicious cycle of poverty. Unfortunately, many have come to the conclusion that that is all there is, and only because they have not been exposed to another world, to a better world. And that is where you come in. You give us the hope and motivation we need to continue. And sure, our parents are great. We love them and they have tried to give us the best they can. But for some of them trying to earn a living and hold a family together, as a single parent, it's very difficult. Some of you have, begun, have become the other parent we don't have. The male consultants we had became my role models, the image of the father that I never knew. They motivated me and encouraged me and slowly exposed me to the world that I so desperately needed to see. You mean a lot to us. And I realize this every week when I see the smiles of the students on Friday when you come. You really do have an impact on our lives. Our consultants believed in us. And that was especially obvious to me one day when we were discussing our future plans in junior achievement class. I said I wanted to study in England. One of my classmates stood up and said, yes, I doesn't understand that, that is, there is no way that can happen because she doesn't have the money. But our consultants continued to encourage me to pursue my dreams and believe in me. And those dreams are about to become reality. It's really hard for me to watch that video. <laughs> um, well, it's so good to be here today. Um, I've seen um, and I've met new faces the past couple of days, and it's, it's been wonderful. Thank you. Um, it doesn't seem like much time has passed um, since I made that speech in San Antonio, um, but it's been seven years. <laughs> um, and every so often I watch that tape, and um, I thank God for allowing me to come this far in life when I know that the environment that I grew up in, my life could have gone a completely different way. And um, since that day in San Antonio, I have taken a journey through life experiences that have always seemed to involve some of the aspects of the teachings that I learned from my J volunteers and from every J individual that I've met since that day in San Antonio. You know, my story is only one of many, and my life is only one of many lives that Junior Achievement has touched. And what began with aspirations of success and dreams of a bright future, today have become a reality. I graduated from college um, a couple years ago with two bachelor's degrees. I was able to study in London for one year. And uh, most recently, I finished my first year of law school. <laughs> A great deal of my achievements um, are in part because of the support and encouragement of Junior Achievement. Um, what I learned from Junior Achievement throughout the years, beginning from when I first took JA at the age of 13 and through today, is that anyone can triumph over personal obstacles to obtain their goals, that everyone has within them the ability to one day achieve personal fulfillment, and that no career ambition is too great or unattainable. You see, Junior Achievement for me was more than about economics. It was more than free enterprise. To me, Junior Achievement was about instilling in young people the core foundation for self-growth, for self-respect, and self-determination. When volunteers go out to the classrooms, and when those children look at them and all of what they have accomplished and what they can teach them, for many children, and in particularly underprivileged children, 
That dedication will ignite in them a renewed hope, a feeling of self-empowerment, and a feeling of self-worth. This is what I believe will drive young children and young adults to succeed in their personal and professional lives. And this is most certainly what Junior Achievement volunteers instilled in me. Today, I honestly believe that I have a brighter future because of Junior Achievement. Finally, I just want to thank everyone at Jay for being a great source of moral support, for always thinking of me, and for being great friends. Um, I live in Chicago now, and I want to be involved with Junior Achievement in whatever capacity I can because I hope to one day be able to touch the life of one child the way that Junior Achievement touched mine. Thank you.